Okay. It's been a little bit longer than I meant. Uh, it's still the same day. Oh, gosh. I'm definitely sick, because that... It was like, bathroom, up. I'm ready. Bathroom, up. No, uh, bathroom again. I am definitely sick. Um... Make sure I'm hydrating. I'm going to refill this thing. I drank from like here to here yesterday, and that was end of the day. I did wake up several times and had to pee for what felt like hours. Um, uh, uh. I was going to say something else, but I don't remember what it was. Last time I wore this hoodie out in public, the Dungeon Dragons one, some random guy was like, Hey, man, blah, blah, blah. And I didn't know he was talking to me, and I had walked around a corner, and I was with Taylor, my wife, shopping. Scratches after you, and so is the cult. We don't know who we can trust here. Damn it, you are making a mistake. Mm hmm. I'll be sure to add that to the list. Um, and then we walked around the corner, he was like, Was he talking to you? I was like, I don't know, or it was something like that. Like, I don't know, was he? Because he was some guy, and there was a bunch of people standing in line at like the pharmacy. It was um, a Walgreens. We just went there to like, we're just kind of exploring, we're like, yeah, oh, let's grab a snack before we're going home. I think, because we're going to watch, uh, I think we were doing a movie night or something at the time. This is like, last weekend. Um, or no, we were going to play Stardew and watch Six Feet Under. We That's what we've been doing lately. Kind of like, a, you know, just a fun, casual game to play that we can, like, make goals in. We just downloaded a bunch more mods for it, like three or four more mods. And, uh, I swear anyway, I along. we come walking around the, uh, Jules? You didn't forget to pack the EMF reader, did you? Why would I pack your gear? I've got my own to worry about. Great. Now how am I supposed to measure the energy signatures emitted by paranormal manifestations? If that's your gear, that's on you to pack. What the fuck are you talking about? And if you want somebody else to pack it, you need to make that, that clear. Like, and, and ask. Unless this is a job thing, if, like, you're delegating work and they can tell, but... Anyways, we come back around the corner another time, and he's like, oh, hey, and he just starts right back in the conversation, like, hey, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I usually play this or this, so what edition do you play? And I was just, like, so taken aback by, like, this random dude I didn't know trying to chat me up. Um, I don't know, I... Let me finish my story, Terry, you motherfucker. Uh, maybe it was a bit rude, but I was just like, uh, oh, sorry, man, I'm not, I'm not looking to make friends right now. And he's like, oh, okay. And then, you know, turned back around, and it's like, he was polite, he wasn't rude or anything, but it was just took me so off guard and at first i was kind of annoyed by it but then i think about it, it's like guy was just trying to be friendly he did nothing wrong i just don't think i was in a i wasn't in a bad mood but i was like in a leave me alone i'm with my wife and she matters more to me than anyone in the universe kind of mood you know my time with her means more than anything like i don't care who the fuck you are I'd rather hang out with her all day every day than do pretty much anything else i'm a super big fan of the show what a treat to be on with you today. Oh, the pleasure's all mine, Terry. <laughs> now, I hear you're doing something special for Deerfest. Deerfest. Tell us about that. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm crafting a selection of custom basswood cuckoo clocks. But the real special sauce is when it's cuckoo time and you're expecting a bird to pop out for a chirp. <laughs> out comes a big old ear. Well, that's just neat. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty neat. Real neat. That's gonna have the tourists tickled pink. And I hear you're selling these. That's just the cute. So make sure to say Is that hello. condescending to think that's cute? I don't know. Davis family I hope not. Whatever. Right. Even is there's something kind of kind of cute and adorable about that? Like it's a deer instead of a of a bird. Like you know, the uh, what's it called? Something expectations. Can I just walk around and do whatever? Like, you want to go over there to see if this corpse is from, from Rose's onslaught. It's just so rare it's day. I guess all that time in the subway, yeah, it makes sense that they want to give me a breather for a bit. Okay, so that's, I can travel there. I get, I feel like I'm supposed to, why is this, is this normally flooded? No stopping 
any time. That makes me think this used to be road accessible. Can I just walk into this? Okay. Anything in here? This would be so... I don't know if y'all if have ever waded through, like, a waist-deep water. It is... It looks cool. Like, videos of you doing it looks cool. But, uh, it is not comfortable. And it's not very fun. And it's very easy to trip. On top of that, when you get out of it, you're all waterlogged and shit. Your boots are so fucking heavy for a while. And you really gotta change your socks. You don't wanna get trench foot with that shit. Is Ray doing anything? Okay, I should probably... Move with purpose. Okay, there's a point of interest. Shoebox. I can't zoom in anymore. I really feel like I should. What is this? That's the... City of Bright Falls. Oh, that's the police station. Why don't I go to the police station? It's been there a while. And yeah, let's go to the... Forget screwdriver. Let's go to the Dear Oh Dear Diner. Lock doors. Cult stash. Just, uh, saunter on over. I can't wait to hit the haunt. We should check the town out first. Hello. You know, do research, interview some locals, get the feeling. Miss that. Not before I find my freaking EMF reader. Where's that stash? Oh, it's like right here. Right. Oh, right there. There's another cult stash. That was easy. The dark. Fear the dark, fear the woods. Oh, thanks for the translation. Uh, we're gonna go put this right back in the stash. Um, this is the last time I'm doing it because I, I don't need to hoard that hardcore. I don't think I'll really need to. Let me go put it in my stash real quick. Stash is gonna be in here. She seems to get a lot more medical supplies than Alan does. That or I just use him as Alan more. Oh, you know what? I bet Alan uses him more because. He, I face so many more shadows with him, and that's what fucks me up. Ugh. We're going to have another big upcoming expense for us. We're going to get a new water heater. going to try to get one this year. Um, it's November 2024. Uh, because I feel like inflation is going to go out the fucking roof. And uh, water heaters will also go up. So I better get one now. Hoping to get like a tankless. Spend four to six hundred. Hopefully, there's a Christmas sale, but I do need to look into that more. Um, hopefully, it comes with free installation and takeaway. If not, uh, the installation I'm sure I can do. That's not gonna be that that tough. It's just a, a water. It's literally a heat exchanger that goes into a water line. And if it's tankless, I'm sure it just means it's a series of baffles. It's probably a plate and frame heat exchanger or something like that. And it's um. That was really loud in my right ear. Take it easy. Setter is better. Okay. You know you're sitting the wrong way on that bench, right? Like the table's behind you. Sir? You don't need drugs tonight? They're eating that with, uh... Are you just living that... Are you recording me? Oh, no, you're... Uh, I thought he was glitched recording something and then his phone was glitched into the pole. No, you're not. Okay, I, I don't have to violate your rights if you're not recording me then. Let me uh, violate this guy's constitutional protected um, rights real quick. Uh, sir, no, I'm just... Is her head whip around all weird there? Should I actually go into these places or no? I feel like I should. Grand reopening. The Butters Park was relocated here as our small town keeps growing. We are sure you'll find this place by the 
for the park. Every bit is wonderful and relaxing as a pre-stone. Welcome to the new and approved Founders Park. birds now where will they go who will feed them fly away find a happier place go while you still can now why'd you go and do that stomping around like that and scaring the poor little things ma'am have you ever had any drugs tonight I'd be such a good <laughs> be so good at violating people's rights if I was a cop mm, sir have you had any drugs tonight you had any drinks tonight, sir? Mm -hmm. Sir, I smell alcohol in your breath. I'm going to search your butthole. Where will I go? Who will I look out? Hmm. You have pants from the 1940s with Chuck Taylors. What the fuck? Well, I guess Chuck Taylors are old, too. You know, hence Chuck Taylor. It's too late. Which, if you point him out of the, the group, I wouldn't know what he looked like. So. I know. He's, what was he's... she even doing out there? And at that time of night? Oh, she was what? Digging at, at, at what? I'm telling you, that woman's not all there. Okay. Well, there's not much more to explore. I do wish I could run faster, though. Get why not for mechanic reasons. But like, in combat, sometimes you just gotta fucking run, dude. You gotta book your ass out of there. Hey there. Interesting looking person. Huh. Interesting outfit. You almost look like a federal agent or something. What's up, bro? Oh, lady, ma'am. Uh, we're just looking in windows. What do we? Hey, oh. how's it going? Hey. All right then. Well, you know what? Their cars might be old as shit, but it looks like they maintain them well. Like those are. St Two standard cruisers ago. How many times do I have to tell you she's gone missing? Well, are you sure she's not just avoiding your calls? Why would she do that? I'm a lovely person. Really, you look exactly like the bird lady who wanted the birds to fly away, and then when I got them to fly away, she yelled at me for it. So, no, you're probably not. Turn this week, came for a late show. There's no coming out. Uh, okay, I think I've read everything, but. Make sure to write down that he's never done sense. this before. He always comes home right after work, or at least calls to let me know he'll be late. Do you have a twin in the police force? What the fuck? Thanks, Mulligan check. and Thornton told everyone to stay out of the basement. And now, they're nowhere to be found. I bet they're just trying to get out of work. Let's not assume the worst of our colleagues. Yeah. yeah. God forbid. Dude, that shit is wild at work. Like, people will just assume maliciousness all the time. Like, there are days where I'm I'm a lead, so I delegate work. And there are times I'm on the floor. Where I, like, I'm told what to do. Okay. That's the fucking job. Like, why are you mad? Uh, I know one of you's doing. Uh, I think that was there last time. Um, like they get mad if you assign them work. It's like can't this is the job, open. dude. Like, you don't want to work. Why are you, Why are you here? I'm not trying to be a dick. I don't like it. And like, if someone did something a really rough job the day before, I try to make sure they have an easier job the next day. Unless that job is still open, then I have to put them back onto it. Unless there's some special circumstances, but. Like, the other day, we were completely staffed out. Like, everybody was on the floor that could possibly be on the floor. And we still had more work. So, people finish jobs, you get reassigned again. And then people were getting... Some people got mad about that. Other people were like, no, nah, that's a job, bro. And it's like, you know, I appreciate that attitude. It won't open. 
not trying to do it back in my day, but like, I remember one of my first trainers being like, hey, let's get this knocked out of the way so that the next job hopefully is, is one of these more complicated ones we can learn more. And I was like, yeah, yeah, let's do it. And it was hard work, but it was also fun because I was with someone who wanted to actively learn and actively train me. Okay, I've seen your model in this town like eight times now. I'm gonna book the car. I don't think there's anything else. Oh, well, maybe an interaction here. Nope, okay. Spoilers, we just got that episode of Six Feet Under where, uh... What is his name? Dexter's character in the show. The actor that plays Dexter. Anyways, where he gets kidnapped. Oh my god, that's such a rough episode. Such a rough episode with the shit he goes through in that thing. I forgot how uncomfortable that, that episode gets. And Tarek. 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 Taylor thought for sure. Yeah, Anderson, I didn't want to say up. this in front of Wake, but... Are you sure this is a good idea? Going on your own? Assuming we believe the page, I need to check this out. We need to find the cult. Anyone we meet here could be a member. And this scratch guy. The evil doppelganger? It must be true. Or else this guy can't write for shit. The quality of his writing aside, if this page turns out to be true like the rest have, this could be a breakthrough. We might solve this thing before a backup even arrives. Yeah, but they're taking their time, so just be careful out there. Meanwhile, I think me and Wake will have a chat. Maybe I can shake something loose. Okay. But remember what happened with the salt shaker. <laughs> yeah, yeah, real funny. <laughs> no fucking other people's food. That's it. Oh. Especially like like someone the bought like twenty dollar meal in a restaurant and you fuck up their Somewhere food and they have to water. order more. Fuck you, you're an asshole. You I fuck with their money own. and their time. Local girl return three. Okay, so when I looked at this, uh, I was like, how long is Alan Wake two? It was like depends your play style. Could be twenty hours, could be twenty five, could be thirty five if you're a completionist. I'm not a completionist, but like I'm like nine hours in. So am I about a third? Maybe. I don't know. I'm also going through this not super quick, but I'm also not doing completionists, so. Hey, I'm exploring them. But idle hands are the devil's playground. So well, us fishing types appreciate you all at least. Big fish just sitting there. Mind giving me a hand in helping out? Uh, I'm supervising the work. And it's super. Look at that. Fishing rules do not feed the fish, no catch and release, cook what you catch. Oh, Stella. Oh, puppy. Missing from Georgia Street, last seen Thursday evening, wearing a pink collar with rose gold buckles. This is Stella, Stella Luna, Luna, Luna Tune, very friendly, not aggressive. I'm seeing, please call Kevin. Oh, oh someone lost their little, uh, looks like a, um, <clears throat> Jack Russell Terrier. I wonder what kind of wishbone was. What's the story, wishbone? We're going to tell the, the story of Joan of woman who gets sexually like abused and burned to death. I'll have to tell Casey that one later. You sure, wishbone? You sure we should cover that story? I don't want you to Joan of Arc thing with, like, the family. And, like... Watery's definitely quaint. Why did I... Why did my parents... Like, on my dad's side. Let me watch that. Because I remember specifically the scene where, the, where they talked about making sure she's no longer, um... Pure or whatever. And, like, I remember as a Good kid asking you. my dad, what does that mean? And he wouldn't explain it. 
And I was like, he, he just ignored me. He wouldn't answer. I was like, well, Dad. I can't open this with my bare hands. What does that mean? And he's like, that means a right finger. Are you, are you happy about it? And I was like, no. Why would you scream that at me, a child? And why are you mad at me that I'm confused about the context of what we're watching as we watch it together? If I'm not supposed to be watching it, maybe we should watch something else. Where's the right finger? Are you happy? No! Not that even at, I was like eight years old. Not even at the time I really fully understood the concept of that, you know? Well, whatever. We don't really talk now because he can't figure out how to say I'm sorry and mean it and not lie about it, so. Oh, you rascal. What have you been up to this time around? What the There's fuck are you so hammering on the side of the frame the for? Hole. There's no nails there. What the fuck are you doing? You get loose from it's a fiberglass frame. It sure isn't it? Isn't that what the, that it's made Still out of on boats? Has a mind of its own. On the smaller ones, a lot of the time it's fiberglass of some type. That's a nice jack. I wish I had a full size jack like that, but I don't want to pay full size jack prices. Sweet, some more five iron energy shocks. I've never seen batteries come in a package like that. But not that they don't. I'm just taking piling cabinets I find in a filing cabinet in someone's back fucking yard. Same guy who beats on the sides of boats named Rita with a hammer. I'm fixing. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, that's that's smart. Yeah, let's take his pills. When we talked about pill parties at work the other day, never been to a pill party, but it's wild knowing that that is a thing that exists, or at least did exist at a time. I need to find a map. I'm guessing heading this way. Or I can't head back all this way. Hey, Saga! Over here! Saga, not Kaga. I know his ah uh, ah uh, noises, though. It's the brothers. Let's check out their backs. Backs! Hey, Ilmo. How did your walk in the woods with Steven go? Another satisfied customer. I just hope he remembers to write a good review on the webpage. Great to see you back in Watery Saga. Everyone in town missed you. <laughs> Super nice to see you again, Saga. They act like they've known me for years. This keeps happening. I was gonna say, like, I I've never been here before, I thought. Are you familiar with the cult of the tree? Yeah, we always thought it was an urban legend. Kids drawing creepy symbols to scare each other, but uh, now it's got them pretty damn real, huh? It's terrible what happened. We're all in shock. Well, we're looking into it, hoping to get things back to normal soon. We're all for that. <laughs> as normal as it ever gets around here. Damn, I'm groggy. I need to find a specific trade. I already had in coffee. Town. I was hoping it'd wake me up. Can more, you help but... me with that? Um, uh, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure caffeine. the owner of the Watery Lighthouse Trailer Park, me, can help you with that. It's good to have our funniest resident back. Resident? I don't understand what you mean. If this is your way of getting out of any outstanding bills, don't worry. They've been handled. Must be hard coming back to where you and your little girl lived. It's like they remember a different reality. Is the horror story messing with their memories? Uh, you know what? I can read it. I'm cold. It's funny is I didn't think there'd be anything this way, but like maybe a short conversation about why the road's cut off. Glasses fuck up so much shit, dude. Like, I like being able to see distance, which is what these are for. That being said, wearing them all the time does fuck up, like, alters your vision over time, right? But, oh my god, wearing a hat to keep the sun on your eyes is so much fucking harder with glasses, because you want to, I want to sit it down so, like, the edges of my, my, um, hat are like that. Like, I always bend my hats really hard, even when they're, like, a display one like this, because I'll wear this fucking hat. I've worn this hat to, well, I was going to wear it to the gym, and I was like, I'm not going to wear my Goku hat at the gym, but, like... This is a habit I got in the, in the Marines, 
I don't know, this is not really meant for wearing that much, to be honest. Um, but like, let's see if you can see it right. I'm sitting it like really low because it really cuts out tons of glare. And then when you aim a rifle, you can still cheek weld and it keeps all the glare and sun out of the side, although it does limit your vision. But, fuck, does it help you shoot long range way better? And glasses is fucking that up, man. Some of the shooting I've, I've done recently been a little bit like that. Just annoying. So what is Coffee World? You mean you haven't seen our commercial for it? Fucking so Coffee my World is a smooth blend of rides, food, and fun. We even had a real moose until recently. Plus, right next to Coffee World is the workshop of our own Kalevala Knights Motorcycle Club. We're busy building the uh, floats for Deerfest. Don't go peeking, though. <laughs> you know, we're saving the big reveal for Deerfest. I'm really hoping it's just that my jaw is tired from... It's like last week, I was chewing a lot of gum on one of the days because I smoked that day to stay awake. It's like the first time smoking in like a year with cigarettes. So I don't vape anymore, I don't know anything any of that stuff. Oh my god, by the way, that first drag of that Camel Crush. Ugh. Feels so good. But of course, you know, next day I feel like trash. Like, it's almost like I get a cigarette hangover, which makes me sound weak as fuck. But whatever. I don't give a shit. I don't smoke. But, um, I was chewing a gum a lot on the left side of my mouth because, you know, I had the feeling done on the right. Because I have... Oh, I, and I'm going to get that feeling checked in on because I did temp feeling. Because my tooth is basically all metal on that side from... Apparently experimental dental military work, because they were like, we're not even sure exactly what they did here, but it looks like it's kind of holding. But, yeah, I've been trying to take it way easier. And then I also got really high the other night and had a bunch of gummies. I had a lot of this container of gummies and some other stuff, you know, being a fat turd. And eating other, like, chewy stuff. And so I think, I hope it's just that I tired the fuck out of my, that side of my mouth from eating at a weird angle and then maybe laying on the funny. It does feel better today, so, but I really hope it's not something serious. Your commercials. They're more than commercial saga. Our goal is to both entertain and educate local viewers about the fine products and services we provide. It's like and, a ride uh, back there. Yako here really comes alive in front of the camera. Really. Fuck off. I'm just there for the free beer. Not sure what Ilmo's excuse is. Hey, I'm writer, producer, co-lead, director. Do yourself a favor and, uh, check them all out. Profiling may move the case forward. So I need to go to my mind palace. Flooding did this? Did this not have an underwater way under it? And, like, was humanity really meant to cross this river? Or any obstacle for that matter. Okay. I don't think it's a matter of meant to cross. It's not like there's a destiny. At least I don't believe in that kind of stuff. Uh, but do you have the ability? I, at one time, that shit, That being said, weather's getting worse, man. I'm really scared for the future. Uh, the, the, the jaw thing, I looked it up. I think it said, it said it was called TMJ or something. like, Or it could be. And it says it can resolve itself. Um, but also can be caused by stress, so I could be grinding my teeth in my sleep as well. Alright, um, let's go to my mind palette. How do I get their tab? Sepulchers. Nightingale is creepy. Elmo thinks the cult is just an urban legend. Or does he? There are things that go bump in the night. It's all true. It's all true. Sound the alarm, brother. Is, he Gather looks so the familiar. Trees. Brother, Yako, the shadow of the forest is creeping closer. They don't think it's an urban legend at all. They understand it's dangerous. Uh, who? Ilmo made it sound like I lived here. Does he really believe that? Light, laughter, and love will guide you home. Saga and her daughter. 
Oh boy. Happy faces raise property value. Family comes first, Ilma. We take care of her trailer while she's gone. She's one of us, Yako. Her spare key is safe and sound. The Koskala brothers have happy memories of me living here. This must be the story affecting them. I'll play along for now. I need the key to that trailer. <laughs> what the f Okay, I'm, I am I found the guy's name. Alan Wake 2. Um, I swear I've seen him. He's in a lot of stuff. Oh, he's in Love, Death, and Robots. As Snow. In, tw in one of the episodes in 2021. So second season, maybe? Oh, he was in Vikings, which is a series I kind of mean to watch. Because I've heard it's really good. What else? A lot of stuff I've never heard about. A few series I've never heard about. Body of Water. Why is it? That sounds familiar. He was in True Bud. Has himself, apparently. Oh, uh, anything else really worth bringing out? Suicide Miami. I could have sworn I've seen him from something. Maybe his voice is just so familiar. I wonder what episodes of Love, Death, and Robots he's in. Okay. Let's find out real quick. Um, this is why you come to my channel for exciting gameplay. Um, creator. Bronze and Love. Yeah. Oh, oh. Oh, fuck you. Love, Death. Robots. Snow in the desert. Oh, is this new? Season 2, episode 4. I don't remember this one. Oh, well. All joking aside, yes, I would like to see my trailer. Do you have a spare set of keys? Good for you. Yeah, I have a spare set. They're just over at Coffee World. I'd get them for you, but Yaku and I have to head to Bright Falls. The spare keys are in the gift shop safe. I'll call ahead and uh, have someone get them out for you. Oh, the road's flooded, but if you just follow this trail behind me, it'll lead you there. Oh, thanks, guys. Okay, so I have a path forward. Did I do everything back here? I need a map of this fucking area, though. Um, okay, Carl's Garage. Let me go inside this cafe here and see if there's any uh, a map or anything. Sumi Society. Metsa Sierra, right hunters. Oh, it's the janitor. Okay, so here's the thing. Uh, Control and Alan Wake, we already know, have a crossover. I know that there's Alan Wake 2 DLC for this game, right here, that does a crossover with Control. Um, I watched the Control crossover stuff, which really wasn't a whole lot. I don't know. There's too many games. I don't think I'm ever going to get back to Control, man. I really tried. The map is bad. I don't enjoy the combat that much. <laughs> I get that they... Maybe they didn't want the map too revealing because they didn't want it to... You know, they wanted to be confusing, but, like, fuck you. There is map. Okay, then. Catch you June. Excuse me. Do you not got my shit? Oh, in the middle of the show. I wonder if I'm the first FBI agent to ever get shushed. Uh, is this Watery's own missing? 
Anonymous source of this photograph for Ed is claiming it was captured during the last full moon. A majestic beast hidden in the depths of the water or an elaborate prank? A sea creature that defies the very laws of nature, a submarine relic from the Cold War era, a lonely wanderer searches for companionship and compassion, or a fearsome monster out for blood? God damn it, I can't read more. Uh, Alpha Bud. These questions, among others, haunt our editorial team here at Bright Falls Records after one of our readers sent in this obscure photograph as evidence of an unidentified creature roaming watery waters and making a rare but opportune appearance. This titillating spotlight might just be the event of the years. As we dove deep dive with this mystery, we here at Bright Falls Records invite all our readers to like big space to big space uh, big space naming competition. What should our local beast be called? Watery Wanda, Shelly, Big Space, the Big Space Sea, question mark, Sea Monster, question mark, Big Space Send, Big Space In, Big Space Your suggestions now. Why are there big spaces in there? Coffee World, we've got a mute part, open waterway, um, anything. Um, what's it all about? Shut a sneak business go up. Well, you know, that time. Which attraction did you tend? Oh. It's a cabinet. Okay. It's basically just him talking about it. I mean, I do like the world building, but my fucking thing doesn't work. Please be a save. <gasps> I can. Okay. We're going to quit the game. Um. Yeah, I'm going to quit the game and restart so that I can use my fucking mouse wheel. I uh, hope you have been enjoying this. It's like all world building and nothing else, but uh. <laughs>